there are different types of financial advisors. You get people who work for, for companies um, who sell the products only of those companies. So that if you took, for instance, life insurance companies, a lot of them will be selling very bad products, which are built around the commissions that people earn from them. But they're not in the interest of the people who are buying them. They're in the interest of the profits of the company or the, or the, the salespeople. They're not even financial advisors, in my view. I I'd normally refer to them as product floggers. Then you get another type of, of person who will be partially owned by a company, but they so-called independents, or they work on their own. But the main test is if somebody is working for a group of financial advisors um, and is a member of, of uh, the financial, uh, financial Planning Institute. If anyone gets a commission of 15%, you ain't going to ever make money. Um, anything over 5% means you're not going to make money. That's total cost. So just to give Bruce some numbers there, of the 120,000 registered financial advisors with the Financial Services Authority, that includes people who can sell you a funeral policy. Um, they're allowed to sell you stuff. You get, you've got advice risk, you've got currency risk, all sorts of risks that you have to take. You can't, as Janet says, just put your money into a bank account because inflation itself is a big risk, and if you don't beat inflation by at least 3%, you're never going to get anywhere. Um, so if, if you're looking at inflation now, it's almost 6%, so you need to get a return of 9%. Uh, 